So he created Ruby Jeans Juicery with a passion for health and longevity and self-care. It's all inspired by his grandmother. Founder Chris Good joins us now. Chris, what's good? Happy New Year, Kelly. How you doing? Happy New Year. I had to get that one off. I see uh, your Emmy there. You've been pretty busy. I've been busy. I've been busy and blessed. Uh, grateful for KCTV5, Black Excellence, and KC Black on for the opportunity. Perfect. And we know your grandmother was the inspiration behind the Juice Bar. Talk about how her story kind of manifested itself into this. Uh, you know, Kelly, so my grandmother died of type 2 diabetes primarily when she was 61 years old. Um, and as a kid, 14 year old kid at that time, I didn't realize 61 was so young. But as I became an adult, became more um, acclimated and aware about how to treat my body, what to put in my body. I thought, man, if, if grandma had this knowledge, she could still be here. And so I decided to, to honor her, but also honor so many other families that have experienced the same thing. So did she do a lot of juicing? Is that kind of how you got into it? Actually, actually, the contrary. She never juiced. She never ate healthy whatsoever, at least from my vantage point. If she had a salad, it had bacon bits and a half a bottle of ranch and cheese. Um, she grew up on soul food. She was from Vian, Oklahoma, a little bitty dot on the map in Oklahoma. And she brought that soul food to Kansas City and it's how she raised us. And essentially it killed her, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So I was actually just at uh, Ruby Jeans on Truce, Control, Alt, Delete. That's one of my favorites. <laughs> Talk about the purpose of the juice and cleanse, which I know you're really big on. Uh, absolutely. So juice cleansing, a lot of times it can be um, misunderstood, you know, because people use juice cleansing oftentimes as a quick fix. Hey, I'm getting married. Hey, I'm going to Vegas. I need to lose about eight pounds. What can you do for me? And that's a lot of what we see. Uh, but that's not really the purpose. The purpose is to uh, set a foundation of self-love, to give your body an oil change. And juice cleansing, ironically enough, is more about what happens after the juice cleanse than before. So juice cleansing gives you a way to set a very solid foundation for your body, for your lifestyle, and then only um, create healthy habits after that. Wait, so they're cleansing before they go to Vegas. They should be doing it after, in my opinion. <laughs> Both, you know, but most of what we sell is, oh, I'm going to Mexico. I'm getting married this weekend. I need to lose 10 pounds. What can I do? OK, so let's get uh, back to on track. We know COVID, it's been hard for a lot of businesses. How has it impacted you? And then lastly, if you can talk about how representation matters. Um, you know, COVID has been tough for us. We closed the location uh, in downtown Kansas City. Once the employees went to work from home, we closed that location. We closed our Whole Foods location for a year. Um, you know, by the grace of God, we never closed our truce location. We leaned down to three people, including myself, and we maintained our presence. Um, and the benefit of what we do in the midst of this COVID era is it couldn't be more important because protecting our bodies and our immune systems from the inside is more important than any external factor could ever be because whatever disease or virus that you're going to encounter if your immune system and your body is stronger and better prepared to handle it then you'll you'll be better off um from a representation standpoint health couldn't be more important um, historically black diets soul food has run rampant throughout our communities. And for me, from my vantage point and seeing my grandmother lose her life to soul food, it set my life on a mission to encourage other families that have a ruby gene in their family as well. And that doesn't just stop at black families, that's all families. And so spreading the message that eating what you eat matters and what you drink matters, uh, couldn't be more important for our community as well as others. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Great information, Chris. Thank you for joining us this morning. And we do look forward to hearing more about Ruby Jean's Juicery. That's tomorrow when you take over Black Excellence Casey's Instagram page, and we'll see you there.